Welcome into the Architect Labs. Today we're going to start the Space Invaders fan project with a quick video going over the game concepts and setting a path for project completion. I'm Michael, the Architect, and this is my channel about iOS game development using SpriteKit. If you enjoy the content I'm posting, please click the like button, hit the subscribe button, and click the notification bell for more content just like this. It really does help and is hugely appreciated. With that said, let's go ahead and get started with our version of Space Invaders. For those that have played the game before, and I'll assume that's just about true for anyone watching this video series, Space Invaders was one of the first recognized arcade classics that ushered in the golden age of arcade gaming. It's a simply built game, but incredible in gameplay. I've spent a small fortune in arcades playing the game, and it always was one of the first games I've got on any home gaming console. My goal with this series wasn't to replicate everything about the game, but to pay homage to a classic while making some adjustments to the player controls and other aspects that fit modern gaming. I have no intention, nor should anyone else, of ever trying to sell the game on the App Store. Everything about this is copyrighted and these projects are just for fun. I wanted to teach myself a little bit of spray kit while sharing what I am learning and needed a suitable project to start the journey. Why not start here with a genuine classic? So what are we going to build? Doing some research, I found a great description of the original game from Wikipedia, and this will be the starting point for our project. We'll try to stick to this template while changing some of the mechanics along the way, but this is a solid overview of the gameplay, movements, and scoring. For our version of Space Invaders, we're going to make it a one-person game. We'll create our own copies of the original sprites in GIMP, a free raster graphics program, and create templates from the static data in our screens to reduce the amount of programming needed. Any of the dynamic data such as scoring, levels, lives remaining, and high score will be stored in user defaults so we can refer to them throughout the game screens easily. In the gameplay, we'll have two variations of each invader that will alternate as they cross the screen and we will create our very own breakable barriers that come apart when they are hit by a player or invader weapons. Each new level will start the invaders one row closer to the player. If you make it past 11 levels, the invaders reset back to the top and start their downward march again. The original game had three types of invader weapons that would rain down upon the player, but I've decided to stick to just one type for this project. Of course, we'll also have a mystery ship passing through the screen from time to time, and we'll use the original logic for scoring points with a mystery ship. We'll make iOS decide which side of the screen it will start from to add a little inconsistency into the mystery ship's movement. Finally, we'll have a summary screen at the end of each level showing the player's accuracy and awarding bonus points based on that accuracy. This is a deviation from the original game, but one that I wanted to play with and I think it really adds something to the game. I hope you are ready to start developing. When we are done with this project, you will have your very own fully playable, somewhat realistic version of Space Invaders. Don't forget to click the subscribe button and hit the notification bell so you won't miss out when I post the other videos for this series. I would love to hear what other projects you may want to see in the future, so post your suggestions in the comments. For now, come on into the Architect Labs and let's get started creating from our experimentation. I'll see you in the next video.